What do we have to do to solve our problem? Compare. Compare. Because of the use of the problem solving procedure, students are becoming more and more confident in understanding the problem. They find a strategy that's going to work best for them. It gives them that sense of independence. At Concourse Village Elementary School, we want children to analyze, contribute, and communicate. We consistently ask children to make their thinking visible so that their ideas are clearly communicated with the world. So for example, in math, you will see children use the problem-solving procedure. It's a five-step process. The children are able to take us through their thinking of how to unpack their math word problem. First you read the problem to understand it, then you think about it, then you solve the problem, then you describe how you solve it, and last is your connections. We use the procedure so it's easier to understand the problem and when you're looking at it, you know what to do. High five. I love what you're doing. It helps them to become more organized with their thoughts. It becomes almost like a checklist for them. It's also important because their reading skills are going to improve also throughout the whole entire time. They're really honing in on specific words, so it's going to help them get the gist and really understand the content of what they're reading. The math problem was about JC and Emma. They were playing this game on their computer and they were trying to see who got the most points. So who made the most points in each round? In the first step, we're asking scholars to understand what they read. We want them to annotate those important words, to circle their questions, and create a what I know chart. The third round, Emma has 62,984. We also want them to write their I have to statement. What do they have to do in order to solve this problem? It solidifies in their head what the intention and what the goal is of their problem. I think it means how they compare their information. After you understand your think, you gotta think about your strategy and then you do an I will. I will use a table, I will multiply, I will add, I will divide. In the third step, they're solving. I compared who got the most points in each round and who got the most points all together. I mostly worked by myself and some of the help was from my friends. Look Rachel, it's 7,000 plus 4,000 here, it's 52,000 plus 200. In the fourth step, they are communicating. Their communication involves labeling and making sure that their answers are clearly written and they're explained. Because when someone looks at your problem and it's not just you looking at it, they have to understand what you're writing. You're trying to show how you're solving the problem. They're going to then create connections regarding any other math that they've done previously. So they're going to look at the numbers, identify if they're even or odd, greater than, less than, and then they have to provide a sentence for that and explain their thinking even further. That's good recognition. So through the problem solving procedure, we see their entire thinking process of how to unpack this word problem. It has to be very clear and visible so that anyone that picks it up is able to make meaning then we know their strengths as a mathematician versus just getting the right answers. 